Great to have you here for an exhibition matchup between the Colts and the Bills. The Colts are hosting here and want to be able to keep the home field advantage going as we get ready for this one. Chris, what is the key in this matchup? Well, Gus, I think you said it best, home field advantage. This team needs to come out and rally early to get the fans on their side. If you have thousands of fans screaming and cheering, you feed off of that and you can turn it into some positive stuff on the field, this should be a great game in this one. All right, Chris, with that in mind, it's game time, and we've got two teams really ready to rumble. Lindell gets set to kick it away. was there to bring him down. And onto the field steps Peyton Manning. They'll take over at the 19. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. It's the tailback. He doesn't get back to the line. And when you talk about great players, you have to mention Reggie Wayne out of Miami, still one of the most electric receivers in the NFL. Yeah, and it seems like Reggie Wayne has been making plays in this league forever. He's been so consistent for so long. It really is amazing. Here he is over a decade into his career and still one of the best. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. He's dropped down around the 29-yard line by Byrne. So that'll bring up third down, just a couple of inches away from picking up this first down. A dive gets it on the inside. The stop was made by Paul Pazlozny. And from their own 34-yard line. A die takes the delayed handoff. Andra Davis was there for the stop. It's second down and six. Six, six, six. 
Manning gives it up the middle. And as we look at the defensive players, we look to linebacker, and they call him Puzz. That's right, Paul Puzlesny out of Penn State, and with him, this defense is getting put on the map. He really is a great player, and he's starting to come into his own, and that's not only due to his physical skill, but his football acumen. He's just a very good football player. Has a man short to his left. And the tackle was made by Leotis McKelvin. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. Yeah, I can remember hearing stories about uh, old-time players in the NFL that literally they could go out in the pitch black and make throws and catches without really even seeing the ball. That's the kind of timing we're seeing today. From their own 46-yard line. Paul Puzlesny was there to bring him down. From their own 46-yard line. Looks left. Here's a short pass. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 48-yard line. It's a pickup of six yards. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. Going down the middle with it. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that was a nice job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback enough time to survey the field and find the open guy. Steps and throws to the left side. I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on our television broadcast because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. He's dragged down on the play. He's brought down around the 21-yard line by Bird. We've played one quarter at Lucas Oil Stadium. No score yet. Welcome back to Indianapolis. Still looking for an open man. Incomplete pass. Number 85, the intended receiver. Fourth down. And the kick is good. 
Adam Vinatieri kicks it through to put them on the board first. McAfee is just about ready to kick this one away. Spiller is deep, looking to return the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. Hagler was there for the stop. Jackson gets the ball. The Bills are simply getting stopped on nearly every rushing attempt. They need to get a spark somehow because this just does not bode well for them. He's looking towards the left side. Johnson is rocked, and it causes an incompletion. Yeah, he got rocked, and the ball rolled. There was nothing left after that hit. Dumps it out left. It'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. And looks left. Throw. He's wrestled down around the 36-yard line by number 33. Jackson on the run. Gary Brackett was there to bring him down. It's a gain of eight. Jackson on the inside handoff. Jackson takes it up the middle. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line by number 33. Let's go. 
He's searching for a receiver. Touchdown, He's got Bill. it! Touchdown! Lindell adds the extra point. Buffalo holds a four-point lead. Lindell looks ready to kick it away. Moore is back to receive the kick. It's fielded at the two. The Colts take the field looking to put together a scoring drive. They came away with three the last time out. They get to him in the pocket and bring him down for the sack. Throws to his right. It's almost picked off. Clark was the intended receiver. Third down. A die on the handoff. He's tackled at about the 19-yard line by Bird. Spiller will take it at the 35. Number 23 was there for the stop. He'll be helped off the field by the trainer, so we may not see him return. Passes out to the left. The stop was made by Antoine Bethea. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. He's dropped down around the 38-yard line by number 55. Searching for an open man. Kelvin Hayden was there to bring him down. Let's 
And he makes it. So the score now, the Bills, 10, the Colts, 3. And as we head to halftime, the score is 10-3. Bills. Welcome back to Indianapolis. As both teams take the field, we're just about ready. Second half kickoff. And takes off from his own goal line. He brings it back to the 23. Hagler was there for the stop. Gives it off. Nine yard pickup. Number 38 gets a call. The Bills get a good gain on the ground there. We'll see if this defense now can come up with any answers for this rushing attack because they had none in the first half. Goes through his progression. He goes down. Sack. Room to run up the middle. He's brought down around the 43-yard line by number 33. Here's the give. He may not have gotten there. They'll measure. Yes, he got there. First down. So many times when the game is over, you can go back and look at what happened on third down, and that ultimately decides football games. They'll get the call again. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just blowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. Let's go. Let's go. 
surveys the field. Lee Evans was his intended target. And even though that one doesn't go down as a sack, that's one of those that the quarterback remembers and probably rushes him just a little bit on the next throw. Spiller takes a handoff. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want. But ultimately, this game comes down to one big man against another big man. And that time, the defense is big men. They won the battle. Throws to his left. I watch a lot of football, and very seldom do you see a team in the second half winning the game, going for it on fourth down like that. A little surprising. Manning will hand it off. Drop behind the line. The Colts have to be frustrated with their lack of running success in this game. I mean, how many times can you get beat like that and still keep trying to hand the football off? Fires a strike to the right. Paul Puzlesny was there to bring him down. And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. They tackle him for a loss. The Colts continue to get beat off the ball. Their linemen look tired. They're physically outmatched. And it's beginning to take a toll on these runners. I'm not sure how many more times they want to carry the ball. short to his left when you're facing a blitz you're forced to make a quick read he read it right and got good yardage out of it and that's the end of the third quarter the score is 10-3 Bills Welcome back to Indianapolis. The Colts start of this final quarter with the ball and are threatening to tie this one up. He needs to get rid of it. The quarterback had no chance on that play. Talk about raw determination by the defender to get into the backfield. Yeah, not a lot of pretense on that play, huh? He is so strong. It seems like he can bulldoze through these huge offensive linemen almost at will. They're going to need to find a way to double team him if they ever hope to keep him off their quarterback. And that opens up room for other defenders. Yeah, exactly, and that's another reason why he's so dangerous. You need two guys to shut him down, which allows one of the other defenders to get after the quarterback unblocked.
Jackson gets the carry. Gary Brackett was there for the stop. That's a gain of two. Handoff up the middle. And the tackle was made by Robert Mathis. Six-yard pickup. Jackson, the ball carrier. Short gain there by the halfback for first down. Jackson on the run. Pat Anger was there to bring him down. Jackson gets another handoff. Gary Brackett was there for the stop. Pick up a four. Here's a handoff left side. So with under two minutes to go now, this offense failed to get the job done. They're going to have to punt the football away. And now the game is going to be placed in the hands of the defense. Up the middle. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line. By Moala. He takes a knee.
he'll just kneel it here. That's the end of this one. The game's top plays and stats are next. Now let's take a look at the Gatorade performer of the game. of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited.